Hi everybody! Yesterday you were given a data chart about how many cookies I ate throughout the week. Um, and you were told to make this data into a line plot or a line graph. So I made my data into a line graph and this is what mine looks like. Yours should look similar to this. Again, you'll notice I have my title up at the top, cookies eaten. I have the days of the week down at the bottom. I used the abbreviations for them since I didn't have enough room to write out the whole word for each of them. And I have my numbers going up on this side. So remember in a line graph, you have your points and you have the line that connects them all. So your line graph should look something like this. Now we're going to answer some questions about this line graph. So the first question says, what day did I eat the most cookies? We know that when we look at a line graph, whichever one is the highest, whichever point is the highest, that's the most because it goes for the highest number. So if I'm looking, I see that the highest point is right here. I'm going to follow it down and it looks like on Friday, I ate the most cookies. I ate eight cookies on Friday. If we look at our data table, that matches. On Friday, I ate eight cookies. All right, so our second question is, how many more cookies did I eat on Saturday than on Tuesday? I right away recognized those clue words, how many more to tell us that we need to do subtraction to figure out this problem. So how many more cookies did I eat on Saturday than on Tuesday? So if we look at Saturday, on Saturday it looks like I ate six cookies. I'm going to keep six in my head. On Tuesday, I ate two cookies. So I'm going to take six minus two, and it, the answer is... Four, you got it. So I ate four more cookies on Saturday than I did on Tuesday. All right, our last question says, how many cookies did I eat in all? There's that clue word, in all, that tells us that we're gonna be doing addition. So in order to find out how many cookies I ate all together or in all, I need to add all of my numbers together. So that means I'm going to add five, we can look on our chart too. 5 plus 2 plus 3 plus 3 plus 8 plus 6 plus 4. When you add those all together, what do you get? Let's look. So we have 5 plus 2 plus 3 plus 3 plus 8 plus 6 plus 4. Okay, when I look at this, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to group in tens. So I know that 6 plus 4 equals 10. I know that 8 and 2 equals 10. And then I, we have 3 and 3 and 5 left. So I'm going to count 10, 20, 25. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. That tells me that we, or we, I, ate 31 cookies in all throughout last week. Wow, it's a lot of cookies. All right, see everyone later.